guys welcome to my youtube channel okay you guys so i decided to make um a homemade chicken pot pie I've been wanting to do this recipe for so, so, so long. I've just been procrastinating. I finally got the guts to do it. So I'm gonna do that for my first actual video. Um, this will actually to be my first time making this. So I'm excited. So, you know, first time for everything. And I'm gonna show you guys um, the ingredients that I got, uh, minus the seasonings for right now. I'm gonna pop the seasonings in in the video later on when I'm about to season my chicken and stuff like that. So you guys will see what kind of seasonings that I'm gonna be using. But for right now, I'm going to show you what all that I have um, making the homemade chicken pot pie. All right, you guys, this is the ingredients that I have to make the homemade chicken pot pie. Um, I'm gonna start off with the chicken breast tenders, um, boneless chicken breast tenders to be exact. I also have um, chicken broth, heavy whipped cream. I have crescent rolls. I know some people use biscuits, but I just, me personally, I just want to use crescent rolls because it just looks better with the crescent rolls. To me, you know, that's my personal preference. You don't have to. Um, I have also some potatoes. I'm probably going to use maybe one. Um, like I said, because I also have mixed, mixed vegetables and I only got the small, kind, like, it's just like a little small regular pack. So I doubt if I'm going to use i doubt if it's going to be like a big like um chicken pot pie i think it's just going to be a nice decent size so i'm not i'm not going to use all of this and i also feel like i'm not going to use all these crescent rolls either i'm probably going to use maybe two um maybe i don't know we're going to see when we uh you know start plating everything for it to go in the oven and then i also got some celery sticks yes it's upside down i just noticed that but these is all the ingredients that um i'm going to include in this um homemade chicken pot pie so let's get straight to it i'm gonna set you guys up so we can get started oh and then i also got a pan um keep in mind i'm not gonna like fill up this whole pan i'm probably gonna fill up like the middle mainly the middle of the pan i'm not gonna fill up the whole thing or this is the only pan that i have that i know would get the job done so i just want to i just want y'all to you know know that that i'm not gonna fill up this whole pan all right okay okay y'all i just washed my hands but for y'all i will wash them again because i don't know why y'all know men who wash their hands like pre wash their hands before they cook i'm one of the ones that always wash my hands before i cook but for y'all i'm gonna do it again so y'all can see okay, okay. Okay, you guys, now that we're done washing our hands, we are going to clean our chicken. We're going to just make sure all the fat is off, you know, clean it, you know, make sure it's nice and clean or whatever. And then that's, uh, and then we're going to put it in the bowl and then we're going to start, you know, seasoning the chicken. So let's get started.
Okay, y'all. So I just finished cleaning um, the chicken breast tenders off. I just finished cleaning them off. I also wash my hands after I get done cleaning. Like any kind, of, any kind of meat, I always remember to wash my hands after touching the meat, cleaning it, and doing all that. You know, all that cleaning and stuff. So now I'm about to show you guys uh, the seasonings I'm about to use. So as you can tell, oops, pick that one up. Oh, now another one will fall. Don't start. Don't start. Don't embarrass me. Anyways, so I'm about to show you guys what uh, seasonings that I'm going to be using. I'm going to start off with some garlic powder. As you can see, I only got a little bit left. And I just checked my cabinet to see if I had some more. And clearly I don't. So I, I will have to get some more because this is about to be gone. Um, some onion powder. And I think this is another thing of onion powder. I'm not going to use a lot of this. I don't know why I grabbed two. I, I accidentally grabbed the, the, the newer one. Um, I also got a mustache, y'all. If y'all don't have this, get it, okay? This is the original seasoning, okay? Get it, get it, just get it. Put this, put this in your in your seasoning cabinet or your seasoning drawers. Always have a bottle of this, okay? And then I got some ground thyme that I'm also gonna be using. My favorite seasoning is Creole seasoning. I'm gonna be using that. Paprika. Italian seasoning last but not least is the black pepper and yes I have the one that you gotta like I just did the movement <laughs> so these are the seasonings I'm gonna be using throughout this whole um, video for like you know good good flavor okay all right Okay, you guys, so I just finished um, seasoning my chicken breast. How they looking? They looking real seasonal. Real, real seasoned. Real, real seasoned. Okay. Uh, basically, what I'm doing right now is prepping everything. Um, so, next on the list, I'm going to be doing is cutting um, the potatoes up. So, this, let me show you again the potatoes I'm using. Um, you don't have to buy this specific brand or nothing like that. Whatever potatoes, whatever is your preference, is your preference. You know what I'm saying? I I think I'm going to have to keep continuously saying that throughout this whole video. Y'all yeah, don't have to buy the exact same thing, you know, because not everybody likes the same potatoes, different kinds out there. But I just bought, I just bought a little pack because like I said, I didn't want a big, um, I don't want to, I didn't want a big bag of it, you know what I mean? I just needed something for, you know, for this video. So, I'm only probably going to cut one potato. I think one potato is good enough. Um, I'm going to cut that, and then after that, I'm going to cut the um, celery sticks. So, let's get started.
Okay, y'all, so I finally uh, cut up everything. I'm still tickled <laughs> about how I was cutting the potatoes up. They was really giving me a hard time. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure if celery go with chicken pot pie. I really don't know. But I'm putting it in mind because I personally like when I make uh, homemade chicken noodle soup and stuff like that or creamy homemade chicken noodle soup, it'd be really good with the celery. And I'd be eating it with like, on the side, I'd be eating it with like the crescent rolls and stuff and it became just like a chicken pot pie. So I personally, um, and Art is gonna use it in, in my uh, homemade chicken pot pie. You don't have to, like I said, you don't have to, but I'm gonna throw it in, you know. I'm gonna throw it in the mix because it's gonna be good. I promise you, it's gonna be good. So now that we are finished cutting and stuff like that, now we can get to cooking the fun part. We get to do the fun part, the cooking part. So let's get everything um, ready for the chicken to start cooking. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I got my chicken in the. Um, in the skillet right now cooking. Um, I did use um, vegetable oil and um, the cooking butter. <laughs> I did use cooking butter. I didn't use like the butter that um, you use for like breakfast and stuff. But as you can see right now, I'm just cooking them over. Um, so I can see how they look on top. So I'm just getting them all, you know, getting them I'm probably going to try to cover it so it can cook all the way. And then after everything is done, we're going to do, we're going to shut up the chicken. So once this chicken, once this uh, chicken recipe is done, we're gonna shut up the chicken. So I will see y'all after uh, this chicken is done and then we're gonna start to shred it. Okay, you guys, so I just took the chicken out and they are in the bowl. So we're gonna start to shred up the chicken and I will get back to y'all. Y'all, I could not help myself. I had to get some pieces of that chicken. It was so good. And this is how it's looking shredded up. Uh, this is how it's looking. It's really good. Like, I couldn't help myself. I had to get a little piece, and I'm hungry. Um, so, now we're going to focus on the veggies that we got. Um... I didn't clean up my pan. I left everything, you know, because it, it has all the seasonings and stuff still in the pan. So what I'm about to do is turn on the eye. I wish I could see it better, but this is this is all I could do. I wish I could see me too, but that's not all I could do, y'all. So I'm gonna just turn around the veggies throw them in and then throw the mixed vegetables in and then we need that oh that might be a big pan y'all oops 
I'm dropping. Sorry, y'all. I'm just dropping. Y'all out of heaven of that. That's what I'm cooking. But as they say, clean up as you go. Clean up as you go, y'all. Don't, don't be a hot mess. Clean up as you go. So we're just gonna mix everything together. The veggies on me, sorry. And we will stand the veggies. And just let that sit and let that start cooking. And I will see you guys when it's time to put in the chicken broth and stuff. The veggies are done, as you can see. Um, I did add just a little bit of um, chicken broth in it so it can get the process going quicker. And I did put a top on it so it can steam. Um, it can do a lot, like a little bit of a steam. And, you know, so that way I know that the potatoes are actually getting done. So I'm actually now going to turn it back on. The, uh, I, I did turn it off so it could just steam. So now I'm about to turn the eye back on and I am actually about to add on a little bit more of chicken broth. So let's do that. I'm eye measuring y'all. I can't even tell y'all how much I'm using. Um, yes. All I know is it's, it's being made out of love. It's measured out of love. You know? That's all I can say. If I need to add a little bit more, I'll add a little bit more. So now, I'm also about to add on the heavy whipped cream. I'm going to shake it up before I add it in. I don't know why I just have it. So I'm about to open it. Kind of delicate with this, if you can. Make sure none of that stuff is. And some veggies fall off the skin, and it's okay. This is bound to happen. This is bound to happen. So don't freak out. Just clean up after yourself. Because I was having a 
I'm just looking. We might get it back there. Hold on, let me ask him to just. You know, one side just be having a lot of juices, and the other side be looking dry. I'm still gonna taste test. Now, I do taste test my food. Just in case I need to add seasonings to it or anything else. So, I think I'm probably gonna add a little bit more of heavy whip. Just a little. Oh, y'all probably didn't even see. Sorry. Oh, uh oh, in the camera. Let me see. Okay. I just added a little bit of more of a heavy whip. I'm going to add some more meat, more chicken on me. Let's just add the rest. Okay, let me turn it down just a little bit. Give it, give it a separate um, kind of vibe to it. So I know that everything is not cooking as fast. Yeah, I'm gonna work on my angle. I know my angle probably like really off, but this is the only way I can do it. I'm just gonna get everything cleaned it up. So let's taste test this real quick. Make sure everything has a cleanness to it. Fast. I'm gonna add all the veggies. I don't need no more. No more cooking. Oh, oh I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my god, this tastes so this tastes just like a pop time. Okay. Okay. Hold on y'all. Okay you guys, this is how it is looking right now. Let me add some light to it so y'all can really see. I did add parsley in it, but this is how it's looking. Oh my goodness. I had to like taste test my food like three, four, five times to really like, to really like, you know, Really taste what I was really tasting. But this is how mine look. You can add a little bit more cream, heavy whipped cream if you want. Um, I might add a little bit more, I don't know. But this is how it's looking up close you guys so i did end up adding a little bit more uh heavy whipped cream in it so it looks a little more creamier and stuff like that so i did add a little bit more now we are finally finally getting to the last part um is the crescent roll part take one of these and uh i did see like some of them like broke it apart but i might not break it apart i might just lay it out just lay it out and then add on the you know the veggies and the chicken and the cream and all of that i'm gonna add that and then add another layer of of the crescent roll so i'm gonna open this up lay it on the um, pan i did spray some some 
but cooking spray butter spray whatever i did add on that to the pan the pan they add on that to the pan um the uh oven is preheating i don't know why i just zoned out like that but the oven is preheating so this is the last part we gotta do y'all so we ready oh, i wouldn't go show this part but i was um you know taking off the paper and the crust and that mug popped on me like boom it threw me by surprise i was like oh snap but y'all, that ain't the part that I'm really like. I'm about to tell y'all. I don't know if it's just been out for too long or what, but did this look like a crescent roll to you? Did this look like a crescent roll? But we're gonna make it work. All we're gonna do is just slap it. Slap it right on the pan. Look, I'm about to show y'all. <laughs> we're gonna slap it right on the pan. Look. We open that mold right up. Let's go just, just lay it on there. What happened to the crescent roll? What happened to the crescent roll? Y'all, I don't know. But hey, you got it. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Let me cover you. <laughs> you got it. You got it covered. So we're gonna just, you know, put a little bit in there. Get all that cream. Don't overdo it now. Make sure you got enough on the pan. Yeah, I'm freestyling like a mug. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think it's enough? I think so. Okay, so I had to do the top layer off camera because it was, uh, yeah, a lot. Okay? It was difficult. I had to open up a whole nother can because the other one just looked so, like, too doughy. You couldn't even find the way to unravel the croissant or nothing i'm just like uh-uh this is too much so this is how it look i'm gonna add on uh, some butter so i got my little handy dandy oh this this butter y'all i promise y'all it's butter i promise y'all it's butter i got my handy dandy little butter brush i got a little butter in here i'm just gonna Add on the butter and brush it on here. finally made it to the end and that's putting the chicken pot pie in the oven i would say approximately maybe like 25 minutes i don't know 
we're gonna try 25 minutes to see what happens and then i will see y'all when it's finally done and we get the plate in and all that but for right now i'm just gonna clean up everything and then i will come back to y'all when the chicken pot pie is officially done y'all this is how it came out omg so now the moment we all been waiting for now i'm about to cut this and see how it looks okay guys so i'm about to cut the chicken pot pie y'all can't see it right now because i wanted y'all to see my face <laughs> but i'm about to um cut the chicken pot pie so hold on and then the spatula and we're about to cut this mug yeah i'm excited <laughs> Got me a glass plate too, cause you know if you pull out that glass plate, it's 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 about to get real. Okay, y'all, I'm about to give y'all a close-up of what it look like. This is what it's looking. Let me see. Let me dim it down. Can y'all see? Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Okay, y'all. I'm about to uh let me get let me close it up for y'all. So y'all can see. Okay, so I'm about to try it. Yeah, I'm gonna get my reaction. Okay, y'all, I'm about to try a piece. Oh, wow. I was doing myself. No. I think I got more of the crust. I'm going to get some more of that meat. No, no, no. <laughs> oh wow. Um the crust alone is definitely flaky. 
it would definitely like be. But other than that, today but thank you so much for you know for watching this video like comment subscribe comment down below um you know if you will follow the exact ingredients that i did or um you know give me some some tips you know like if i should have asked some of you know different seasonings or you know, different recipes. I don't know. Like, comment, whatever, you know. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed myself making this video for y'all. Uh, thank y'all for the ones that watched and viewed this video. And try this for yourself. And make this at home for y'all, for you, for, your, for just yourself, for your girlfriend, boyfriend, your kids your family whatever um and thank y'all so much like I'm, I'm very excited about my first video <sighs> so yeah i'm gonna end this video with this too but i really you know comment down below what videos y'all want me to do um if y'all want me to do another cooking video so much and i will see y'all in my next video bye